for that opportunity to play against Givet. So we see Mad Dog here going to be picking that Survival Hunter, Retribution Paladin, a Restoration Shaman against Team B's predominantly on that Restodred KFC. It's going to be interesting to see who can take this game fresh immediately, popping that wings, looking for pressure with that Stormbolt onto Oxygen. They land a trap onto Select. They need to pump out the pressure, and both teams are popping offensive cooldowns going ham. Yosuke actually taking so much damage using that Trinket to get out of this, and you face is just smashing face against both these melees. Right, this this is the early opener where I think that, K that the BM Hunter is going to have a lot of pressure on the Survival Hunter. He's still going to need some time if he wants to do any damage and try to get any pressure onto, you know, maybe killing the pet with the Lightning Poison, maybe getting that extra pressure. But the one thing that's really nice in this matchup with him being that Survival is it's going to be actually a little bit easier for him to get those traps onto the rest of Druid, whereas if he's playing BM, if they stop him from getting his Sun Trap, it's not as easy to get that. But Yasu, you can see, Harpoons to the Druid, gets the trap. That's one of the advantages of Survival into a Restoration Druid, so he's able to get that CC a lot easier. They don't always have to wait for the stun. They can get that stun out of it. Like they have now makes the CC chains a little bit easier. They just have to be worried for this little bit of an opener and trying to avoid that damage. They're using roots on the pet to try to kite it a little bit. And once they're at that window that they don't need to worry about that, I think a lot of the momentum will start to favor the Red Hunter team. We can already see they have a smaller mana lead because they're actually forcing so much more pressure onto Chicken Jack with that full intimidation stun. They have a lot of damage going out onto him. And I think this game looks so much better so much better in the favor of Mad Dog than the last time we saw them playing against a, a KFC. Right, and Yosuke has landed those traps on consistently against Select, having to trink it out to keep his team alive. Although Yosuke now taking so much damage, the trap with the half bash onto him, gonna make him have to play defensive. The Blessing of Protection actually comes out from Fresh there to keep him alive. And now Chicken Jack actually taking a lot of pressure, but Select is just free to heal them. Uses that Iron Buck onto you face to keep them alive. But like you said, Dilly, Oxygen is having that mana lead against Select. Right, right. As a survival hunter, again, he's a melee, so you know you have two melee. It is gonna be a little bit easier for to take more damage. He's not going to be able to kite as well, but the, the advantage is that offensive pressure. Yas is trying to get as much damage as possible. We can actually see he's playing this Hydra Spite talent, which spreads his Serpent Sting, so he's trying to get a little bit more of that spread pressure, not just onto Chicken Jack and Uface, but also onto the pet, making it really easy for him to get those high laning poison stacks, and they're playing more for the late game this way. You see Yas is kiting away. He's a survival hunter, but you still want to do that. You kind of want to play like a range hunter at times, trying to find those windows to be safe. And I think their strategy is going to be really fluid, even though we might see him getting a little bit of uh, pressure onto him, you know, forcing that early Bob. They have that full intimidation, so so anytime we have one of those, they have the Aspect of the Wall being popped, that's going to be a ton of burst. They use that together. Chicken Jack holding onto the Dire Beast Basilisk, waiting for another window that they have CC because they got Oxygen Shrinker here. So if he holds that for the next go, kind of spreading it apart, that's where things are going to get really scary. Now we have the Wings window. Yas goes for the Harpoon, gets the full trap on to select. They have a Hodge out of this. Fresh needs to get the damage he can. He's trying to hit you face a little bit. They're trying to spread the pressure as much as possible. They have him getting lower. Select is forced to use this Iron Bark. And we're just seeing they're slowly getting this lead up against them, but they have to be very careful. The next CC chain that does land, Chicken Jack will get a ton of pressure with that dire base bass on to Yas because he's not going to be able to kite it too well. Yeah, and they're both teams are getting a lot of pressure right now, just forcing each other defensively. I think this can go either way, really. You also get taken a lot of pressure as well as Fresh because they have that cleave pressure from you face with those Warbreaker Blaze Storms as well as that sweep and strikes. He's going to be doing a lot of pressure against both those melee, and Yosuke's doing an excellent job kiting that pressure, trying to take as little damage as possible to make things easier for Oxygen to heal. But once again, full Hodge onto Select here. Can they follow it up with a trap? I'm not sure. Yeah, there it is, the full trap. They need to get pressure with this onto you face. It looks like they are. They're dropping him very low. Stun him low HP, forcing that trinket die by the sword. It may not be enough. The Rallying Cry comes out as well for that safety net, and Mad Dog may making an excellent offensive play there. Yeah, that, that was a beautiful setup right there. For, for that window to even happen, first Select was trying to get the drink, but Yask, he actually coordinated really well with Fresh. He put the flare behind the pillar knowing Select was drinking. He actually didn't get a tick of his drink. Then that was effectively CCing him. They're building up their pressure on you face. He was he was getting a little bit low. Then they get that long CC chain and a ton of pressure comes out. But Yask actually preemptively having to use that deterrence. He is getting low. He wants to be a little bit careful. Still holds on to his Gladiator's Medallion, so he'll still have that. Yask knows he can be a little bit safe right now. They kind of want that longer game. They force the trinket out from Select. So Yask will have his Gladiator's Medallion. He'll have his exhilaration. However, he he has to be careful because exhilaration is not as strong of a cooldown up against this arms warrior when they use that sharpened blade. So now they're trying to get that first damage onto Chicken Jack. Yas getting kited using that aspect of the hawk, getting the rain damage onto him. They have the full stun. They need to follow it up with the full trap. Yas is trying to get the trap, does not have the time. Chicken Jack is sitting there trying to eat the trap, but Yas should be able to have a window to harpoon over, land the freezing trap, and try to get that damage. Yeah, I think he's being super careful right there because his HP is still low. No Urban Shield Totem or Turtle available, so he didn't want to push in at the wrong time and get chunked down. Meanwhile, Chicken Jack is actually 
taking a lot of pressure as well, getting super low and actually having to use the aspect of the toe. I'm not sure if that was really warranted, but he used it anyway. Select now put into a full trap, and Mad Dog are actually looking very good in this match. Oh. Full start on the U face. Surely he goes down one second, and the Druid's gonna come out, but he has full nothing. Hot. Full hammer of justice. Surely that's gonna secure the win, and Mad Dog looking excellent on this survival hunt. The Retribution Paladin. They're gonna take the first game against Team Beast. Mad Dog looking fantastic. They've been looking fantastic. They're just looking on fire winning that first game in Nagrand with the same composition. And it looks like Team Beast are going to just stick to that KFC with BM arm specialization. And I'm not sure if the map's going to do much, really. So it will be interesting to see how this plays out, Dilly. Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest thing is I feel like Yoss is still going to take that early pressure like he took before. You see Chicken Jack doing a good job trying to get that CC, but ooh, great timing from Fresh. He actually sinks that Sorbel at the very last second instead of doing it immediately. And he does it right when he sees Chicken Jack throw the trap and it allows Oxygen to coordinate with him. He grounds the trap. So that, that's really great communication from a Red Hunter team. Like, that's absolutely what you want to do, bait out that trap. And now they get that full trap on the select, ooh. bursting him down in the Intimidation, potentially forcing the Aspect to Turtle. He uses Trinket at the last second and uses the Exhilaration. So this is a big mistake from Chicken Jack. They got a ton of pressure on him. The Hunter had popped his coordinated assault, and that gets a ton of burst damage. And, and that really catching Chicken Jack off guard, that, that's going to put them super behind because at that point, he, he effectively wasted his trinket. He, he did it at the very last second. He was going to survive holding onto it that long and, and just going for the heal. Little bit of a mistake. They need to be extra careful. They want to use this map to their advantage. They, they need to create that range advantage and still get that CC. Yeah, Fresh and Yosuke going ham there with those offensive cooldowns, nearly oh, taking Chicken Jack out straight away. They land a trap onto Select right now. Chicken Jack not really taking too much pressure though. The Bob actually coming out onto Yosuke, full hammer of justice onto Select, and he is playing with that relentless talent choice, which could be a bit risky, but maybe it's going to give them the edge to just sit more crowd control and be able to keep his team offensive. But right now, he needs to do a lot of healing. He uses that Iron Bark onto you face right now to keep him alive. Yosuke and Fresh just have all the pressure in the world. Yeah, I, I think this is a little bit rough for Team Beast. That they missed that one trap that they just had that last go, and they didn't get that other pet trap, and now Chicken Jack has no pet. They're shutting him down completely. He's trying to revive it. Yas could use the Laden Poison to make that swap onto him, and this is where survival really shuts out BM Hunters. Now he uses the Intimidation Sun. So Chicken Jack is completely shut down. Yas Harpoons over, gets the full trap onto the rest of Druid, and a nice cross CC from Oxygen. Right now, Mad Dog is completely in the momentum, and Fresh kicks the revive pet once again, forces the aspect of Turtle just to re revive the pet, but he's still interrupted. Goes for the res pet, but th this is looking awful for them because at this point, once you have no res pet, or no aspect of the turtle, you can't res your pet as easily. So then they're going to get in the same situation where they kill it, they rotate the shears, they rotate hunter interrupts, and it just looks very bad for Chicken Jack at this point. They force the to use that, that iron bark on him. He still has his tree form, he still has his inner bait, but they're in so much trouble. They do land the full trap onto oxygen, but right now they need to find the best way to generate pressure, and they do this by popping their aspect of the aspect of the wild, pop the best of your wrath, they're trying to get the damage, but Yas still has counter pressure going. He has his burst available. He's holding on to it though. He let Fresh use his wings, but I just, I think Team Beast needs to do something De uh, desperate just to recover in this game. Yeah, Team Beast need to make a miracle happen right now because they are falling further and further behind against Mad Dog's pressure with Yosuke on their Hunter and Fresh on their Retribution and Paladin actually t doing a ton of damage onto you face surprisingly. He needs to be careful. He's kiting away Fresh with that charge. Excellent play by him. And Select, once again, is actually the one worse for wears on mana. He needs to do a better job to keep his team alive, but losing that mana wall as well as the damage wall is making things very difficult right now. A full trap onto Select. They're pressuring Chicken Jack. He's using his Beastral Wrath, trying to counter pressure, but at the same time, Yosuke going ham, popping his offensive corner, is getting so much pressure onto Chicken Jack right now. Select having to use the Iron Buck. Will it be enough? He seems to be casting out the hills. I think it might be just for now, but at the same time, he is losing that Mana War. They go for that Storm Ball, and he actually went for the trap, and they, they again, Beautiful sank into that grounding. Fresh and Oxygen, they're on point right now. Their synergy is huge, and they're completely shutting down Chicken Jack. This is a very rough position for him to be in. He, he's not able to do too much. They've taken him out of the game, and we've seen Be Beast Mastery Hunters be like the main superstars in this composition. They have so much momentum, but with Mad Dog, their strategy completely revolves around shutting down Chicken Jack. He's not able to get these traps. He's not able to get his damage output as high as he wants. Yask has so much momentum. Select is doing a great job, though. I, I will say he has been trying to get some drinks off. He's trying to manage things well. I even think that the Relentless 
choice is actually good because it is going to reduce a lot of overall CC. They're not really worried about burst as much from the survival rat hunter comp. They're actually worried more about the sustained pressure. So as the rest of Druid being out of CC as little as possible, I think it is better for them. The, the biggest struggle is now Chicken Jack is always on the run. He's not able to be as offensive as he'd want to be. And the momentum is completely favoring Mad Dog with the only saving grace being that Oxygen and Select are kind of even on mana. But you have to take in mind that I think rest of Druids do a little bit better mana-wise than rest of Shamans in general. So when they're kind of even, that's probably uh, showing that the Shaman is a little bit favored. Yeah, and Select was doing an excellent job getting those strings there to keep up with the mana. But now he's put into the Hammer of just into a trap. You face taking so much damage. He gets put into a stun. Trinkets out of it. Make sure he's in defensive stance. He's trying to get aggressive as well with that avatar onto Yosuke. Getting so much burst pressure actually there. And Oxygen having to trinket out using that healing tide to keep his team alive. Yosuke having to kite away now as well. But it looks pretty good for Maddox. He'll select once again running out of mana. If he gets these drinks though, they could survive at the same time. Mad Dog just looking so good right now. Yeah, they just have so much consistent momentum throughout the game. They're doing a great job spreading out their offensive cooldowns. They'll use uh, Fresh's Wings window, then they'll have Yas Pop's coordinated stall. So they're always rotating these burst windows. They have the sustained pressure. They're cleaving both targets. The, the, Trick and Jack is trying to res his pet at this point. Yas goes for that full trap. He should have his Intimidation available. So they are they are going to be able to get this pressure onto Chicken Jack. They use an offensive hex to stop his Ooh. revive pet. I mean, they're doing everything they can to shut him down. He has the aspect of the turtle back. There's the full hodge to Chicken Jack. He has to use it. Goes for the revive pet at this moment. He's trying to hold onto it at the last possible moment. Now they force the tree form from select. They force him to use the inner bait. He's trying to keep his mana flowing. But right now they're not getting any counter pressure at all. They still have bubble available. They still have aspect of the turtle exhilaration. Every defensive cooldown is pretty much left for Mad Dog. And they're not finding any windows to go super offensive onto them. And it's almost like this Tolver on map isn't even working out for them. They have this bigger room. But Yasu is actually able to survive better for himself. And, and Team Beast, they're in such a dire situation right now. The game is a slow burn. But Mad Dog is just completely dominating it. Mad Dog's paying this map very well right now, but it looks like they are going to turn their swap onto fresh, and I do think that's the better kill target for them. They land the full trap onto select. No aspect of the turtle, no tree form coming out as well, so, but so much burst damage coming in onto Yosuke right now. It looks like he'll be fine. The Iron Bark also being forced onto Uface, which means there's a huge opportunity to take down Chicken Jack. If they can get crowd control onto select and just keep up with pressure onto Chicken Jack, they could potentially win this game. Right, they have that window. They need to find, find the opportunity to kill, but they also need to still look for the for their burst damage themselves. I mean, they did get a lot of pressure onto Yas there, and they if they find those windows, that's the only thing that they're going to have to rely on. I think they need to burst him down, or potentially just start hitting Fresh more, because they're going to have more uptime on him. Now they go for that full Hodge. Yas does have the trap available. They go for the Disarm onto Fresh, stopping his damage. Now they are swapping onto Fresh, getting the pressure onto him. Fresh has his wings. He's having to play a little bit defensive. They're trying to hit you face, and now he's running away. So I think that they're doing a good job now, deciding to hit Fresh, deciding to attack him, making him play a little bit more defensive. The entire time, they were more focused on Yas, and by doing that, they're, they're not really getting anything. Fresh is kind of able to support him with Word of Glories, get these off heals, and by hitting Fresh, putting more pressure onto him, I think they'll shut him down a lot more. Maybe hitting Yas like they are right now. They have the Intimidation Sun. They could burst him down before he gets the turtle off. Two per very low is going to be able to survive. They have the Earthen Shield to towed him down from Oxygen, but Yas decides to run away from that as he has the Blessing of Protection, knows that he's going to be safe. Um, they probably won't get it purged off, and now they're trying to go back in. Mad Dog going for that trap right now. Yas does get it. He's trying to get the momentum onto the U-Face. He should have a lot of damage for him. U-Face getting a little bit low right now. Oxygen went for the Hex, but did not follow through with it. Yeah, Oxygen actually in the midst of all this got a nice drink, which is keeping his team offensive. Another Hammer of Justice on to select. They're pressuring you face, but he uses that Iron Bar. A misclick on that Barskin, I believe, but maybe it was actually good. He's getting burst down there by Fresh, actually. And Select is running out of mana. This drink from Oxygen may just make them take the game, but he's now put into that full fear. Team Beast really need to get some pressure, but they're unable to just now. A full trap, they followed it up. All the DPS are active. We're looking for blood in the water. Yosuke actually using that aspect of the turtle a bit preemptively, but at the same time, I think it was a good move to immune the damage completely and allow Oxygen to just kind of heal in this dampening with that Ascendance. Right, it's important because that was the window that they had aspect, or they had the Dire Beast Basilisk and they have a ton of burst. Oh, they get that the trinket from Chicken Check, but he's just going to be able to use that Exhilarating. Should be able to live? No, he won't be able to. He has Iron Mark. He could die without using Turtle, oh. and he does? What? They completely turned it around on him. That was just Yas. He popped the aspect of the eagle with the coordinated assault, giving him range damage. So even with him getting kited from Chicken Jack, the damage doesn't stop. He's effectively an enhancement shaman with that ascendance. Crazy, crazy bust lock. But with that 100% loss <laughs> with Warlocks and BFA, it's going to be a very difficult ask. I, I think this map is probably one of the only ones that Warlocks are good on because you can use the gateway from the bottom of the stairs to the top. And then with those portals, you actually can qu kite quite a bit, especially against a Red Paladin since Red Paladins are, not, are known for being very immobile. 
immobile. So we can see him jumping down here, and then Fresh is going to be in this position where he has to jump after him. And see, he runs all the way around because he's trying to be prepared to be in the port instead of trying to focus on stopping his Holy Pally. So I think this is a good desperation pick. I mean, might as well go with this. This is what they're best at. Chicken Jack has performed well with this survival hunter, and they have a ton of burst damage coming out onto U-Face. He needs to get in that safe position. He gets on the top of the stairs. He's line sighting select a little bit, who, who does get some of those wing skills, so he should be able to top himself off. Yask actually getting kited on his coordinated assault has to pop the aspect of the eagle just to get that range damage on him, but they're not getting that much pressure. They're trying to swap it over to Chicken Jack, forcing his... He used his trinket already. He doesn't have that... Uh, he doesn't have that trinket, so if they get a full stun on him and he has that uh, no aspect of the turtle, I mean, he's going to be in a ton of trouble. Yeah, he is, and they land the DR Hex on the select as well. They're getting quite a bit of pressure on the Chicken Jack when they can't hit you face, but right now they're against him. He has to teleport out of range. Oxygen all over him as well, contributing to the pressure, and this is a dire situation for Team Beast to be in a full Hammer of Justice on the select with the windshield on the you face. Looks like they're actually swapping over to select. Yosuke dropping low as well. The one thing you need to watch out for with these Affliction Warlocks is that Drain Life one-shot, which could be very risky against Mad Dog. Right, right. So they have the damage up, but the biggest thing with the Warlocks is actually surviving, so that's why I think that this map... I think this is the first time we've even seen it get picked, mm -hmm. but it's actually really good for Affliction Warlocks, even though many don't consider them to be a meta pick. But you can see how huge those gateways are. He gets incredible distance. If he can just survive here, you know, has the Holy Paladin support, he can get back to his port, port back onto the top, and Fresh is going to have such a hard time connecting to him. So it's a great strategy. I mean, it's a good... It's a good way to kind of deal with the composition that they have here. They did force that Earthen Wall. You face is still trying to set up that damage. But I think the Team Beast, if they can kind of survive oh. until the later game, they'll have a lot of damage. And they first Yas, did they kill him? They killed him with the, with the death. Wait, what? He did the drain life. Yeah, That's he did what the we're talking life. about. He yeah. drained life to him, got to around half HP, and so much burn look, look out the, of look nothing. Look at their and potentially seeing... Uh, select going for that pure of heart talent to counteract the latent poison damage from Yosk, and that would shut down so much of the pressure. Yeah, it would. And a hammer of justice actually coming out straight away onto Fresh. Maybe they're just realizing the importance of getting that gateway early on to be able to have a hope of surviving. But now, two hunters both trapping the enemy healers right there. Oxygen actually gaining gout of his there. Uface taking a lot of pressure. He needs to be careful. This wing's doing a lot of damage coming in from Fresh on high pursuit to take him down. Select using that sacrifice, gonna keep him alive for now. Gets wind shit. It looks like they're okay for now, but at the same time, Mad Dog just need to make sure they don't die to that drain life. Right, they they just need to be more aware of it. I I even hear them in the back. They're just saying, okay, we just need to stop the drain life. I mean, it's really important for them to, to watch out for that window. Now they have that Hodge going out to select, getting a little bit of that damage onto him. You face still is relatively safe right now. Now that we just have Yasuke's offensive cooldowns ending, Fresh doesn't have his first damage. They they need to be able to stabilize him for a bit. And I think with select having his avenging wrath up, he should be able to keep his team safe. Now they they just need to wait for that window. They use this succubus to do onto Oxy, which is a really interesting strategy to see. He's trying to go uh, for those Han cast, not able to get it off though, gets wind from Oxygen. But I, I think that the strategy here is really interesting. They actually have Yosk using uh, the high explosive trap, knocking you face on his cast, but he does get closer to his gateway. Gonna use that defensively, getting beautiful fears on Fresh this entire time, just really controlling him throughout the game. And Oxygen's not always able to spell it. They're trying to go for the big burst right now. They have to drain life, uh. get instantly wind sheared on it though. Really important for him to get that. that. That was the window that he had to actually try to get that one shot right there. And we can see Mad Dog is more prepared. They're, they're trying not to have that happen to them. So th this is where it's going to be very critical. You face running away. He, he's in this moment where he's in a lot of trouble. They only have bubble left from select, and he does use that pre bop Has to use bubble as well, trying to keep his team safe. He knows that you face could potentially get purged right now. He's trying to keep his team in the game. Uh, they have a lot of damage go output going on to him, and this is where he has to be very scared because they have a full trap on select. No, no. Defensive cooldowns left. We have the wall coming up from Uface, but he's still caught in the full sun. Hex goes out of Chicken Jack. They could finish him. Mad Dog could take this tournament. They're trying to do what they can to survive. They don't have anything left for Uface. He's at 2% and he goes down. Mad Dog secure this series and unfortunately sent Team Beast home. Mad Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.